The M6D Toolkit RC charger. I think this is the best charger for to start off with as a budget charger or upgrade to. And uh, I'll, t I'll show you everything from unboxing, how to update the firmware, how to calibrate it, and then you'll know everything you need to know. Uh, there will be affiliate links down below with uh, the best prices I could find for it. You can go to your local store and buy one. If you use my links, you'll probably save about $20, but you'll have to wait for it to come from AliExpress. I, I don't really mind waiting. I always want to get the best deal, so you can do that if you want, or you can support your local store, but they'll probably charge you an extra 20 bucks. Okay, let's go and uh, take a look at why I like this charger and think you should get one. Let's take a look at my trusty charger from the past. When I started, I got the ISDT Q6 Nano Smart Charger, and this has done me well. Mind you, the first one they sent me was broken, so then they sent me another one. So right off the bat, that kind of scared me that this was going to break, but it lasted me two whole years, and it's been pretty good. I used to use this, though, to charge my batteries with a parallel charger, and uh, that's one of these. So it would allow me to plug, like, one, two, three, four, five, six batteries and charge them at the same time. But as you can see, like, things started breaking and blowing up and whatever, <laughs> and, like, I slowly fixed it and kept it going as long as I could. And then after, I bought another one, and uh, this one has really crappy, it doesn't... It wasn't doing things properly, okay? So straight up, I always tried to be cheap, and in the end, by getting these things, they're an extra maybe 20 bucks each, so I spent like an extra 40 bucks. It wasn't working that properly. There's too many things that can go wrong. I'm not saying parallel charging is bad, but it's just like, it's not worth losing your house, and I could have easily made some stupid mistake and blew things up. I think that the M6D is kind of a compromise. So, it, I like charging six batteries at the same time, but this charger allows you to charge two at the same time, really nice and safely. So, I'd rather just be able to charge, you know, two at a time, do the pairs two at a time, instead of the other charger where it's only one at a time. This lets you do two at the same time, and it's relatively safe. So, let's uh, open it up, take a look at it. So, I've already kind of used this a little bit, but I haven't done everything that you should. You can just kind of take it out and start using it and it'll work, but right off the bat, it feels really nice and solid. It feels more solid than this. This thing also, it was really finicky with the scroll reel and the button where you'd push the button and it would push up and down instead. This, it's not like that. The scroll reel is nice. You push in it and it goes. You hit exit. So very simple, just two buttons and it comes with a cord so that we can update our firmware. So the first thing we're gonna do, let's go to the computer and update the firmware. So we'll plug this into, if you have a Windows, it's gonna be nice and easy. If you have a Mac, go look at another <laughs> review because I hate Mac. So I'm not gonna do anything to help you with that. So you chose the wrong brand. <laughs> we plug it into the computer. You don't gotta power it up or anything. You just plug it into the computer. Now, we're going to go to Google and search Toolkit RC or just go toolkitrc.com. We're going to put in our charger. Our charger is the M6D. Okay. And then, all see, I spent all the time searching for you the cheapest links too. So use the links below. They're the cheapest ones. I already found them for you. Uh, you're going to be able to get the charger here for $61. It is going to need a power supply, a uh, the XT60 giving it power. So if you don't have that, then you're going to need that. So I got one here for you. I ordered the same thing myself. So here you can see I ordered it too. It wasn't given to me or anything. So you're going to need two of these adapters so that you can plug in your smaller batteries. Because we're I'm always using uh, 4S batteries. And uh, when you get these, you see you'll make me a whole 14 cents. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll need that and then you'll also need a uh, power supply if you don't if, if you don't have a power supply I have a link in there for a power supply there are ones that look like they're cheaper that you can get but they won't have enough amperage for your chargers so don't get those cheap ones they uh, they won't give you enough amps you want the one that kind of looks like a computer charger and it's in the links below okay so here we go we got this downloads 
we don't want the manual. We just want the firmware. There's new firmware. Yay, 2023 firmware. Only for, uh, how do we know which main board? Right when I plugged it in, you, all you have to do is turn it on and it'll have V1 or V3. If it's new, it's probably the V3. So we're gonna click this and it's gonna download our stuff. We got the firmware. We're gonna go to our downloads, uh, right click, extract all. You got it. And delete that because we don't need it anymore. And now we're just gonna run it. The automatic upgrade, this will do it for us. It's already on version 3.11. So if yours is on version 1.1 or on version 3.1, all you have to do is plug your charger into your computer by the USB cable supplied. You add, download the zip file, extract it, and then all you have to do is take this file and dump it onto the drive. So the toolkit will show up as one of your drives You'll dump this onto it and that will upgrade it for you. So that's all you have to do. I just can't show you because my USB drive on my computer is poop. I'll show you how to calibrate this. We've already made sure the firmware is good. And just so that you can see if you wanted to see the firmware. And see it says firmware V311. So the firmware is uh, up to date. So check that before you even bother trying to uh, update your firmware. Now you're going to take your uh, multimeter and put it to voltage and we're going to check out the input voltage to make sure that's correct. So you put the ground to ground. I usually remember round is ground, but you can just check to be safe. That's ground. That's positive. So I'll put the ground in first and then I'll put in the positive. And what do we have? 1993. Ah! Dropped a drone. Okay. So now we're going to push this button down to put it into calibration mode. We want to be in calibration mode. So first we have the input. We said 1993, 1992. So we're going to click on it. And one way we'll make the number go up. And the other way we'll make it go down. To the left we'll make it go up. So we want 1992, 1993. Kind of in between there. There, that's perfect. So that's set. Now we're going to go and we're going to check each one of these cells. You can do it like this and write it down by going to here. The first, the ground one's first, the uh, red one's second. So you could look at the first cell and check it kind of like this. See, it's whatever it says. You could write that down and do it like that. But we're going to do it a different way. It's a little bit quicker. You just got to be careful. You don't want to short it out. When you plug in your battery, you always make sure that those, those things are at the bottom. You don't put it in upside down and you make sure you plug it into the beginning. So there you go. And we're gonna check these cells and we're gonna adjust it. So we have the ground first and you make sure you go straight into the hole, not right in the middle of it, not in between the two, okay? And now we see it says 3988, okay? So we're gonna, we did that. We're gonna go down here and we're gonna make it 3988. I want it to be at 3988. Okay. Here we go. 3988. Now we go to the next cell. Now I only have 4S, so if you have 6S batteries, you don't need to bother with the adapter. But I only do sub 250 stuff, so we're only using ST30s. And if you're getting this to fly little micros, you only need to calibrate the first four because you're only doing up to 4S batteries. Okay, so we go one over. We stick this in. We stick this in. We make sure we got it in the right place. There we go. We got 3987. Okay, so we're gonna do this. 398. Three, 3987. There we go. Now we're gonna do the next one. Three nine eight four. Three nine eight four. Okay, and now the last one. Three nine eight nine. Three nine eight eight. Three nine eight eight. Going to nine a bit. There we go. We got it. So now it's calibrated. Now we're gonna do the other one. So the exact same thing. 
So we're gonna take this out of this and this out of this. I'm gonna stick it into here. Exact same thing as we did before. Okay. <laughs> so three ninety eight. What are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes you can! There we go. Just okay. do it! Three ninety seven. There we go. Three ninety four. Okay, the last one. Three ninety nine. So now that's set up, and then the last thing that I forgot to do, we can do the output just to get that all right too. See that? So to get that, all we got to do is go here, negative and positive. So we check the um, power coming out of the battery. So round is ground, yes or no? Yeah, round is ground. Okay, so there we got that in there. And then we'll stick this right in here. And the output is 15, 15.94. Okay, so let's just do that. 15.94. Okay. And then we'll do it over here too. Yeah. Fifteen nine four. Very good. Okay, so now it's all calibrated. Beautiful. We did that. And we're gonna uh make sure that we save, because I didn't save last time. Very nice. Now it's all saved. And we can disconnect, reconnect, and now we want to charge two batteries at the same time. So I'm plugging in all, this is a 4S. We're using 3S batteries today. So I'm going to plug in two 3S batteries. There's one, and there's two. And this is basically how you're going to be able to charge your batteries two at a time, really nice and safely, with everything uh, keeping track. Okay, so we have our three or two three S batteries, and we're going to charge. Oh, we can exit. We can do the first one, three uh, S. We select lipo. See, so you can pick different type of batteries. We're gonna pick LiPo, because that's what we're using. Cells, we set it to 3S. Mode, I storage these before, so now this time we're gonna charge. We're gonna end voltage for 20, which is correct. And now the charge current, uh, they're 650s, so I'm gonna charge them at 0.7 amps. And I'll do start for the first one, yes. And now we're gonna do, and now we're gonna do this one. And we're going to start. Okay, very good. Very good. So you want to basically do that before you start charging things. Otherwise, the it, it'll charge the cells wrong and whatever.